What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It is your girl, Rita, and I am here to do a video for you. But first, let's say, hey, you guys. I've been missing you guys. I uh, just know life is lifing, and I'm just doing the best I can with coming on here. Keep me in your prayers, and I will appreciate it. Give me a like for this video. It helps me in the algorithm of YouTube. And let's just get right on into this. This is a different version <clears throat> version of a soup that I've already done before. Um, this is just a keto-friendly, paleo-friendly, uh, lower-carb car version of my Zupa Toscana soup. If you want the full-fledged, heavy whipping cream version of that, it is on there. Just search See What Rita's Cooking um, Zupa Toscana. I've also made this soup in this version, but I am even going further as far as making it healthier or making it in a lower fat, lower carb way. Okay. So as you can see right here, this is two heads of, um, actually this is three because I'm going to be sharing it, but what you'll need is two heads of, um, a cauliflower. Okay. That's what this is. And in this pot, I have the cauliflower. I have eight cups of chicken broth and I have four cups of water in this pot okay so let's get on over here I'm trying not to show you too much of my kitchen baby because everything is everywhere uh, I have a high tea that I got to get ready to go to in a little bit uh, my friend is getting married one of my sister friends and I tell you what when you get engaged and married in your 50s the things that we are doing for this girl, they're so bougie and so grown, okay? Uh, weekends at mansions and today we're going to high tea with D. And so things are just a little bit different. You know, I'm loving it. You know, I'm loving the bougie of it all. I'm loving the we all have careers and jobs and money now so we can do <laughs> all these things. She's getting married at the courthouse this week, but also she's doing a beach wedding in uh, Mexico, so baby, she getting married. Did you hear me? Okay, she said yes, and so did he. But uh, let's get on into this. One thing about this soup, you know, how we boil the potatoes for the other version, we don't have to do this with the cauliflower. We're gonna be making all of our meats that we're gonna be doing, and we're gonna be adding it to that pot with that cauliflower and the broth and, and water. And we're going to be letting that simmer down. We're going to be using, I'm going to be using kale the same, but I'm going to mix kale and spinach this time. So let's get on down to the get down. I am going to be using turkey, okay, Italian sausage today. And I'm going to be doing two pounds of turkey Italian sausage. And I'm going to be doing an entire package of turkey bacon that I've already um, chopped up and cut up. I'm looking for my good stuff. This one seems like it's my good one. Now I put a little um, CBOO in the bottom of this uh, skillet just to give this meat a little uh, help because we know that turkey, I have y'all in there, we know that turkey is a little bit dry. Okay, so I did do that. This is the Jenny O. Um, brand, but any Italian sausage that you want to use, you can. I think because we're doing some other things, you can even use the regular Italian sausage if you like. But y'all, I don't lost 10 pounds, y'all, and I'm trying to keep on going, okay? I'm trying to keep on going, baby. You ain't got to tell me I'm pre diabetic number one time, baby. You ain't got to tell me number one time. And y'all should see all the changes that I done made. I'm not getting on no medicine for no diabetes. I refuse. The devil is a lie, okay? Now, I knew that cholesterol was going to be out of control because y'all know I love to eat me some stuff, honey. And that's why I come out haven't had any weight loss surgery or any, like, anything like that, y'all. Because, listen, I love to eat. So we're just going to have to find ways to eat the things that we love and don't go overboard, honey. And it's just harder the, the older you get. I mean, I'm 57, you guys. I'm not no spring chicken. Well, I'm a cute 
cute chicken, but I'm not no spring chicken, okay? So what I'm going to be doing, you guys, with this is I'm going to be mixing both of my meats up. It's going to take me a while to get this to a uh, cooked stage. I want those um, pieces of bacon to start to crisp up and things of that nature. So I'm going to be cooking this on a pretty high heat. I'm going to be seasoning it with salt, pepper, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and a dash of uh, red pepper flakes, okay? So those are the, the usual suspects. I'm also going to be putting that in my pot as well, you guys, because y'all know how I am about um, flavor. And y'all are asking, what's going to make this different? You're going to see what's going to make it different. There are some things that I'm going to be adding in here that we don't traditionally see in the Zupa Toscana soup. But this is going to give us that flavor and make us, you know, not miss, you know, the potatoes and not miss the fat and the heavy whipping cream and things of that nature because this is just as bum. And um, I hope you guys like this one. I know you will. So I'm going to season with those things that I told you guys I was going to season with. And then I'm going to step away from the camera. We're going to cook this meat up, and we're going to go from there, okay? Be back in a minute. Okay, you guys, so as you see, my bacon and my turkey sausage, turkey bacon and some turkey sausage, they're doing their thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to be adding. Now, you don't have to add the carrots or the red peppers. Um, this is something that I'm just doing to mine. <clears throat> I've seen this. The carrots in the traditional one, I've seen it several ways. I so saw, because this one is a more veggie heavy, um, you know, more health conscious uh, version of this soup, that's why I'm adding these vegetables to mine, okay? You don't have to do that. If you don't want to do that, just add the onions and add you some garlic, okay? I'm going to put everything in here because I'm not putting the garlic straight to the pan with um, oil. I'm not worried about it uh, burning, okay? I'm just going to add this all in here. So what I have is about a cup and a half of carrots chopped. And I have a whole um, large red bell pepper. And I have a half of a large onion. And about, y'all know how I am about garlic. So I have about eight, um, seven or eight cloves of garlic. And that's just um, personal to you. And I've already like seasoned it, like I told you guys, with the salt, the pepper, the Italian seasoning, the garlic powder, and uh, the red pepper flakes. So I'm going to allow this to sweat and let these vegetables fill on this meat and get acquainted with this meat before I put this in my pot with my cauliflower. So I'm going to let this cook down for a little bit, especially those carrots because we know that they can be crunchy. And I want them not to be crunchy in here. And so that's I'm going to let this cook down for about 10 minutes, okay? I'll be back. Okay, so now look what we have. I have added my meat and my meat mixture with my uh, carrots and my red bell peppers into the pot with my cauliflower, my chicken broth, okay, and my water. And now we're going to let everybody bone chicka bone bone get feeling on each other's butt. Hey, okay, we're going to do that. Also to this pot right now, you guys, I'm going to be adding an ingredient. You're going to be like, huh? I'm going to add me some two cans of a coconut milk, you guys. This is going to take the place of that heavy whipping cream. Now you can get unsweetened or you can get just regular. This is just regular smegler, but I tell you guys, I promise you guys, that this is not going to taste as sweet because of the aromatics and stuff that you're using in this soup. This is not going to make this soup sweet, okay? Take my word for it. I would lie to you. This is another way to keep it keto friendly, to keep it paleo friendly by adding coconut milk instead of that heavy whipping cream, okay? So now all we have to do, you guys, is let this, like I said, cook down. We want those um, uh, 
cauliflower florets to get very soft and tender. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to just let it cook down. We're going to cover it. Now you can break yours down more than this if you want to, your cauliflower. Now I do have some that's broken down, okay? And I do have some that's, that I kept big. That's just a PP, a personal preference. You can chop them down as much as you want to, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to put our fire on medium high until it starts to boil and then I'm going to cut it down on uh, low and then we're just going to let it do its thing until it's done and you'll know when it's done because your uh, your florets like I said will be soft and then that's when we'll add our kale and spinach or one of the other whichever one you decide to do we're going to be adding that at the very end and we'll be done with this soup so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to cover it and I'll come back when it's time to add the kale. Okay, you guys, I am back. And now we have our meat. We have everything in this pot, right? Okay, this has been cooking about 20, 20 minutes or so. I'm getting that good texture on my um, cauliflower, okay? Oh, my God, you guys. This is going to be so good. So now we're going to add <clears throat> our kale. And spinach, one or the other, both, whatever you want to do. I'm going to be adding two cups of each, okay, to my pot. Okay, we got our chopped kale. Okay. And the rest will be just letting it cook on low, you guys, until everything is done, okay? That's all we have left to do. Okay, this don't want to come out. You're going to get a, you're going to get, what I say? You're going to get a use about the Lord, okay? Yes, you are. Down on in there. Right? That's my kale. That's two cups. Okay. I'm going to push that on down off in there. Down off in. Okay. I'm going to do actually four cups of the kale and two cups of the spinach. Okay. And now if you want this to be creamier, which is something I may do, you can do a little slurry if you want to. I'm going to wait till everything is in here and everything is cooked up and I will make that decision, uh, you know, later if I want to put a slurry. The next time you guys see me, I will be tasting this soup and we will be done with this soup, okay? I'm going to start putting some of my spinach in there as well. Getting some out. Lord, okay, I don't want to open. I'm sorry, guys. Here I come. All right, we're going to get up some spinach and put it in there. We know these are going to wilt down really fast, okay? And they're going to cook down in there. And I just wanted this little... Uh, combination today. I wanted this soup to be close to what we're used to with the Zupa, but you know, I also wanted it to have its own personality, and I also wanted it to be delicious because why? We are cutting calories, we're cutting fat, but we are not cutting down on the taste. So I'm going to put the top back on here. And we're going to cook this until everything is wilted down. And I've got my heat now on medium low. And we're going to go with God. And we're going to have a beautiful soup when I'm done. Okay? See you soon. Okay, hey you guys. I am back. And since I was with you guys last honey. I had to get dressed and go on to my uh, tea party, y'all. And now my soup is done. It is ready. Those uh, cauliflower and broke down and everything is just in there together and deliciously. It looks just like regular soup. It's just gonna. Don't you think so? Yeah. So I'm going to give it a little taste so I can get on out of here. It's been cooling for a minute. So I got it down low right now so I can warm it up and I can feed my um, daughter some. Got us some garlic bread. But let's just give it a little old taste and see what we think. 
I guess I can turn y'all around and let y'all see my little honey. I got my little, I got my little tea party uh, stuff on, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's been a minute, ain't it? Hey. How y'all doing? I'm so ready to get out of these clothes, y'all. It has been nonstop for me, y'all. That's why come I have been. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's why I have been yeah, MIA, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. But yeah, how y'all like my little my little tea party garb? <laughs> you can't see my little shoes, honey, because I, I got out of those things lickety damn slipped. Okay. So let's taste this. Soup. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this coming together with the subbies and with me. And we ask that you bless this food and let it be a nourishment to our bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so like I said, to to uh to to make this one a little bit more healthy. Mmm. Babe, come here right quick. I'm not going to tell him that I made it the way I made it. Hurry up, babe. I want you to see something right quick. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, share, dislike, comment, share, subscribe. I'm going to let my husband taste so you can tell me if it tastes like the regular. This is the Zupa. Come here. He just walked in the door from work, y'all. You can't even see him. He's so tall. Can you tell the difference? Hey, but you're so wild. Golly. That's good. It tastes like it always do? What, what do you think is different? This cup's greens in there. It's not greens. What is it? That's kale and spinach. Okay. Kale and spinach. But can you tell anything about the uh, starch? Mm -hmm. No, not really. I don't know. Potatoes. Oh, that's what it's. Do it taste like potatoes? Mm -hmm. It's cauliflower. Oh, okay. It's pretty good. Yeah, cauliflower, and then I didn't use any heavy whipping cream. I used turkey uh, bacon and turkey sausage to lighten it up, make it keto friendly. Good. You like it? It's good, y'all. He gave a thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> so, y'all, I think y'all are going to like this version just as much. And we can save us some calories. And, um, you know, we're just trying to do our little do 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 One, two, one, two. We ain't getting no surgery. We're just going to eat different sometimes, eat what we want sometimes. You know, you know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, I hope y'all make this one. Mm. My, I really don't know what to call it. Keto friendly, keto and paleo friendly Zupa Toscana. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but I'm going to call it something. But I will see you guys on the next one when we see where Rita's cooking. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget your food and all the way live until it's being Rita-tized. See y'all.